This is a special dedication To my beautiful providence Yeah, 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 yeah I love my providence Welcome to my providence. Today we are in a wonderful section of this island. So you my TV viewer don't move because I need your company to experience Lazy Hill. The green green hills, what a beauty. Yeah, just feel the Caribbean breeze. And check out all the coconut trees. All the dancing, all the shaking. With the music, with the music. This is just the beginning of a beautiful day. here with a well-known man of this section. This is Mr. Barrington Watler Robinson, well-known as Mr. Dito. Mr. Dito, welcome to my providence. All right, Mr. Dito, people from my providence want to know upali the hill start, upali the hill done, and how the different section them with the inner lay the hill name. Lazy hill start from John Taylor Landing to up by Pura then. That's Lazy Hill. From Upper Pura back down, that name Kitty Waff. Then you get to Freshwater Bay. All right. When we coming up as a young boy, for we to get water, we had was to go down to a place we call Kitty Waff where a well was. And we had to be there in due time because people from Old Town and people from Ketlina, people from Southwest Bay go and we go down there in a Kono. In them time we never know what was can we had was to use gold. And if we don't get there in due time we are not going to get no water. We have a next place up there where you call Good Hole. And it was the same way, if you don't get there in time, it's a spring that is. If you don't get there in time, you still don't want to get on because people is there. Before time when we had to go to wash clothes, is bottom side good hole on our mango tree. When you go to the pile of people is there with them tub washing clothes. Back in the water from good hole to that place and wash clothes. And in them time, we, in school time, we had to go on manning and fishing and get back by 8 o'clock if we go to school in Lazy Hill. In them days, you never had high school like what you have now. And what I noticed, the young set them, they don't have no, no, um, no manners. Then, 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 then they will spit in your face if you, you, you don't look. And I tell you something, what I look and see how things change. Mr. Dito, you as farmer and cattle raiser, tell me how the activity used to be in those days. I remember when this young man, Mr. Tony, always come here and care called to San Andres. And me and my wife got 37 years carrying coal to San Andres and Butcher. We're going on the Acabra, we left Sunday, and we come back up the next week, Sunday back from San Andres. Rolfi always buy coal to, to Providence and care to San Andres. Mr. Dito, people from my providence want to know why they call this section Lazy Hill. People from down here lazy? No, not said that the people lazy, you don't have lazy people, but then just give it that name. So, from I ban and the old people and tell me it's Lazy Hill, they give it name. But I don't know why that they give it Lazy Hill. That, that situation, like the people were talking and said that the people in this in this district lazy but it's not the people 
is then give it the old people them give it um, that name Lazy Hill. Mr. Dito, when you were the little boy who had business down here in Lazy Hill, and uh, who the shop them used to stay? The first shop that you had in Lazy Hill was Palmer Robinson. His shop was that piece of cement right in front of the Catholic Church. Well, in a demi days after now was Papi, Papi um, Robinson, him had a shop there. Well, Dodo, them used that place over after him, they know them take over that. And then um, Father Martin, they live bottom side the Catholic Church. The old Catholic Church was the top side, the road, top side the road of the Catholic Church right in front of Gracela Dem House. That was the old Catholic um, old church. When I was a little boy and we to get to the Catholic Church, we had to pass the gully in a, in a canoe. We passed over the other side of the gully in a canoe. And coming back, we had to come back over and pass in the canoe to get back on this side of the island. And, um, and afterward, Alberto Mitchell them is who built that culvert down there and then that we didn't have no more problem to pass to get over. When we go, go fishing, we bring our canoe up in the creek. That's why they give their name Sal Creek. And we bring our canoe up in the creek and we haul up our kuno and scrape our fish and do what we have to do there. But no them claim to say that where we live in here, them say Salt Creek. But is this man, but I'm side on the Baptist church, is who listen to people and give that name Salt Creek. But that's the name Salt Creek. Where we live in here named John Taylor Landing. Mr. Dito, thank you very much for being in my providence. And I'm glad to be in my providence. And you, my lovely TV viewer, don't move because my providence soon come back with plenty more for you. Lazy Hill, fresh water, be as always be on the case. But I'm host people always smiling, yes. And all the rest from the whole providence. This sun is too short, but you are the best. And me can't let for me people from Petlina. Or if you prefer Santa Catalina. Everybody ready with a big heart to receive someone in this paradise land. The latest icon of Levy Hill is the new thematic park. The construction of the Levy Hill Park is vital for a healthy development of the inhabitants and they are very happy to enjoy it. We are here with a well-known man of this community, that is Mr. Felix Robinson Bush. Mr. Felix, welcome to my providence. One of the themes that we are going to touch with Mr. Felix is the boat building. That is an activity traditional here in Levy Hill. Mr. Felix, tell us how you learned to build boat. I was only a simple camper. I wasn't a boat builder. But by experience, I build boat. How was that experience? Who teach you? How you learn to do it? Nobody teach me. 
I do it by my own knowledge. Mr. Felix, tell us what you remember about Leith Hill when you was a boy. I, I used to go to school by Honin in town. And we had to walk from here, go to town, and from town come back to Leith Hill. Mr. Felix, tell us what you think about Leith Hill of today. What do you believe Leith Hill needs? What I really believe Leith Hill needs is what they have right now. Such as you have a, 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 a taking up a, a reference to the picnic of them. You have a good park over there that they will keep out a, a doing bad things and they have way to play. Before time, they used to come down here and we who is trying to consequence they could picnic them. They got them, they don't have no way to go and so they come here and do all kind of things. But now they have way to go. So, it will be a different. What do you think about the park? Uh, what I think about the park is a wonderful world. Here, I'm no better. And which message you want to give the community about the park? Well, to take care of it. The important thing is not to build. The important thing is to take care of what you build. All right. Tell us about your family or who was the traditional family then where you remember, the title them, the people and who used to live down here when you were small? Uh, Mr. Mac, McDonick, Miss Nettie. Uh, you have a next Mr. Mac that is McLachlan, Auntie Hattie, Con Lindsay.